Hello and welcome back. I am Sithrith, and this is part 13 of my Sang Fuad playthrough. We are on December 16th, 1858. So if you remember last time, there's craziness going on, something about Wendigos or something. I think we're gonna have to fight one. No, we're not. But they're a thing that we have to keep in mind, so... Let's see. Uh, wave 1, we've got some Mycans. Wave 2... Uh, werewolves mostly, and wolves and things, so I will do the usual and uh, put up my traps and talk about what I'm doing. So for this one, uh, the first wave, like I said, is my cans, and it's going to be a little weird because three of them are going to the church and one of them is going to the mill. Um, basically, I'm going to have to equip my silver axe for this because there's just not really any good way to deal with them. However, wave two, where the werewolves are, I can pretty much take them out with traps. So, going to be using my silver axe. Mostly going to be fighting these guys uh, hand to hand. I do have an explosive barrel set up for the shamans, but otherwise, um, yeah, uh, there's bait and explosive barrel here, here, but they're for the werewolves. So, just gonna have to do some. Uh, uh hmm, can I build a? Thing? Yeah, I think I can. So I should do that. From here to the mill. Alright. So that's set up. Then for wave two, um, I'm gonna have to deal with the Will of the Wisps by hand. I've got a wayside cross set up. Wolves, I have this spike trap that should deal with them. Uh, these guys have bait and an explosive barrel right next to them. That worked really well last time I did that. And same thing for these grand werewolves, bait, and then an explosive barrel that I'll shoot. So this is gonna be interesting. Uh, we'll just see how it goes, I guess. Okay, wave one is down, so now I'm trying to think where I'm supposed to go. I think I'm supposed to go to the house now. So let's do that, I guess. Or maybe I'm supposed to go to the... Um, I'll go to the house and then we'll see how it goes um oh i should watch these um okay so only most of the wolves died but not all of them and i think i accidentally yep i did totally accidentally um get these grand werewolves to detect me so that's happening but luckily i've got this wayside cross here so i should hopefully be able to kill them. Uh, wolf's dead. I don't have my blessed axe, so this isn't great. I'm gonna have to kind of run them in this general direction, though, towards the bait and hope that they, you know, stop detecting me or whatever. But, uh, we'll see about that. Oh, uh, okay, so the bonfire's not working because the, um, Grand Wol Werewolf has these guys enraged. So this is not great. I'd like them to get and uh, eat the stupid bait. I don't think they're going to because they're enraged. I probably should have moved my um, scent around, but I did not think of it, I guess. Oh, I was so close to defeating that one. Ugh. Okay, so I basically just have to remember to, um, yeah, light those stupid barrels if I'm close enough. Ugh, okay. Okay, so wave one's down. I'm waiting for wave two to spawn because they spawn really close to the house. So, what I'm gonna try and do is wait for them to spawn and start going towards the house before I do anything so I don't accidentally, like, aggro them or whatever. So I'm hoping that this works. We'll see, I guess. Oops. Okay, so I got detected. Yay for that. I'm trying a slightly different strategy this time. Um, basically, instead of dealing with these three mycans up there dead on, I'm going to go up there and I'm going to shout to get them to follow me. And then I'm going to lure them onto this spike trap and hopefully the spike trap will kill all three of them. Um, I think I'm going to actually put a barrel here just in case. Just in case. And then for wave two, and then I'll go down and deal with that guy on his own. Then for wave two, um, killing the... oh, I only put two wolf traps. Oh, 
What? Why did they... Why did that move? Ah, okay. So I guess I have to put more traps here. There, okay. So traps all set up there. Wolves will be dealt with that way. Um, hoping that these werewolves all go to this bait at the same time. And that should trigger this spike trap. And I also have a barrel there just in case. Will the wisps... Yeah, I'll have to deal with them on their own. But I'm hoping that this works this time. That did not work as planned. Um, I ended up having to explode the barrel because they got it. each one of them came at a different time. So that was not great. I'm going to try and get them to run through it again. Nope. Uh, here comes... Um, I thought the third one was coming. but Oh yeah, here we go. There's three of them. There we go. Alright, that worked. Now I'm going to run back up to the watchtower and wait until this uh, second wave starts off. Okay, so they're eating the bait, which means that the spike trap should go into effect soon. Yes. Did they all die? No. Shoot. Okay, I'm going to have to run and deal with the last one. And hope that the will of the wisps um, are not going to kill the house. Finally finish this stupid level! Oh, finally! Yes! Awesome! Jack! Your friend is back to see us. Quaid, have you seen Mishta Macheshu, the shaman of our tribe? I sent him here yesterday to warn you of a great peril, and I haven't seen him since. With that blizzard out there, I'll bet he's lost in the forest. Hmm, not likely. Great Fox knows better than anyone how to travel in a storm. In any case, it's too late now to prepare for the coming of the Windigo. <coughs> Me, I have to find Mishta Mechishu as quickly as possible. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go see what I can do to save our sorry asses. No way. If somebody has to die, it should be me. Instead, you should barricade all the doors and windows of your cabin and take care of Josephine. She needs you. Okay, so, Wendigos. That's that's a thing. Um, let's see, we've got one in wave two and two in wave three. So, as if this game wasn't crazy hard already, it's getting getting even more intense. So thanks for watching very much, and I'll see you around the internet.